A break in the case. In March, we profiled the unsolved murder of Darnell Farish. The young father was shot and killed in Camden City last year. Now, a suspect is behind bars, and investigators are crediting CBS3 Mysteries for his arrest. Here's Eyewitness News anchor Joe Holden. The night of March 17th. The police still have not made an arrest. CBS3 was on the air with a case of murder in Camden. At that time, we introduced you to the family of the late Darnell Farish. His young son, Dejour, playfully walked about the prosecutor's office while family talked about their loss. He was a loving brother, son, dad. Farish was shot and killed in August on a porch at South 8th and Tula. There were few clues. The Camden County Prosecutor's Office provided CBS3 Mysteries with this video. There was this video believed to be the shooter. After the report aired, detectives suddenly got a tip, a break. They arrested a man named Taekwon Tingle. It's a matter of Taekwon. He appeared before a judge last week. Judge, just for the record, I would like to note that on March 17th of 2022, that specific surveillance footage was uh, published by the media, CBS3 called Murder Mysteries to the public for any information on this homicide. Investigators say a witness came forward claiming Taekwon Tingle watched the broadcast and was concerned what to do with the alleged murder weapon he still had. Police say a search warrant located a 9mm semi-automatic connected to the murder. That weapon located inside Tingle's home. They also found clothing matching the person in that video. The fact that a surveillance video of Mr. Tingle was published to the public back in March of 2022 of this year under Murder Mysteries, CBS 3, that kind of corroborates the story as to why Witness 2 indicated he was nervous about still having this gun and what he should do with it. Because at this point, it was the first time that our office had published surveillance video to the public because at this point we had no help. A court-appointed lawyer said Tingle denied involvement. The defendant himself only had this to say. I'm definitely going to give me a lawyer and all that because, man, that, like... Don't like, discuss your case, Mr. Tingle. So what about motive? From court, we've learned this all stems from just a $150 debt. Darnell Farish was shot nine times. On a sunny Wednesday, we met with Darnell's family once again. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. They say they're now beginning to understand what justice feels like. You got a phone call that they made an arrest. What was your reaction to that? I was really relieved. I was um, I was happy, and it, it took a big burden off my shoulder. They prayed we love you, yo. and released we love you. balloons, grateful for a break in the case. A rock lifted off my chest. I was just so happy. Pre-trial detention. A judge ordered Taekwon Tingle held without bail on a charge of first-degree murder. Detectives say they consider this now a mystery solved. For CBS3 Mysteries, this is Joe Holden.